Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to learn about countable and uncountable nouns. We can count individual objects, but we can't count things that are measured by mass, such as water, rice, sugar and sand. We treat countable and uncountable nouns differently. In this lesson, you will learn about the ways in which English distinguishes countable from uncountable materials and ideas. Here are some countable nouns. House, person, pen, book, sheep, egg, question, doctor. I write my diary with a pen. We live in a small house. They each had an egg for breakfast. She wrote an article for the school newspaper. We can talk about a single countable object. Note that when the countable noun is in the singular and begins with a vowel, we use an instead of a as the determiner. We often use countable nouns with numbers in front of them. Here are some examples. I carry five books to school every day. There was one person waiting for the bus. We went to three shops to buy our groceries. That country has one doctor for every 10,000 citizens. Some things cannot be separated into individual items. We use uncountable nouns to name these things. Here are some examples. They checked in their baggage at the counter. I took his advice and studied hard. Intelligence is partly inherited. Money does not always bring happiness. Plants need sunlight, water and food to live. The nouns baggage, advice, intelligence, money, happiness, sunlight water and food are usually singular. We often use the definite article, the, with uncountable nouns. Let's look at these examples. The sand was used to make cement. The information can be stored electronically. The climate is warming as the atmosphere retains more heat. Note that you cannot use a or an with these nouns. When we don't want to state the exact number of countable objects, we can use words that indicate amounts. Some of these words are another, both, every, several, few, many. Let's look at a few sentences using these words with countable nouns. Another teacher came to my class. Both children were in good health. Every classroom now has several computers. There are few towns without a library. There are too many cars on the road today. We use different words to indicate a quantity of something uncountable. Some of these words are any, enough, little, more, most, much, less, and some. Let's look at a few sentences using these words with uncountable nouns. Is there any food left? I have enough money for the bus. Use only a little salt in your cooking. There wasn't much time left for reading. Less experience is needed for this task. We can use countable nouns to quantify uncountable nouns. For example, a drop of water came from the tap. Water is uncountable, but a drop of it is a countable object. She drank two glasses of juice. A glass makes an amount of juice countable. Grains of rice were spilling from the broken bag. Each grain of rice is countable, even though rice is uncountable. Some words can be used as countable or uncountable nouns. 
Let's have a look at the noun fish used in this sentence. There are many fish in the market today. In this case, each individual fish is being referred to. The word many is used to quantify a countable noun. There are many types of fish in this market. In this case, fish is being used in a, as an uncountable noun and we use the countable noun type to quantify it. At the end of the market day, when most of the fish has been sold, a late customer might say, there's not much fish left in the market. In this case, the word much indicates that fish is being used as an uncountable noun. Sometimes we use a shortcut and omit words when speaking or writing. When we do this, an uncountable noun can appear to be countable. Here are some examples. We each had a curry for dinner. In this example, we are using a curry as a shortcut for a plate of curry or a dish of curry. Plate and dish are countable nouns. Mother put four delicious curries on the table. In this example, four curries might be short for four bowls of curry. Bowl is a countable noun. We can also use a shortcut when we want to distinguish different types of a product or substance. For example, we can say all the fruit in the supermarket was grown locally. Or we can say all the fruits in the supermarket were grown locally. Both are correct. In the first case, we may be distinguishing fruit from vegetables and meat products. It is used as an uncountable noun. In the second case, we are emphasising that the supermarket has locally grown bananas, guavas, oranges, tomatoes and so on. We are talking about countable types of fruit. Let's look at another example. Guava is a type of fruit but we don't need to say so. We can just say guava is a fruit, where a fruit is understood to mean a type of fruit. Here are some more examples to illustrate the use of countable and uncountable nouns. I will pause between each sentence. See if you can mark which nouns are countable and which are uncountable. There was a beautiful rainbow in the sky. Yes, a rainbow is countable. The sky is uncountable. We went to the beach and had a swim in the sea. The beach and a swim are individual and so are countable. In this case, the sea is used as an uncountable noun. Any person with intelligence could pass this examination. Person refers to an individual, so the noun is countable. Intelligence does not refer to something that can be counted, so it is an uncountable noun. Examination refers to a specific event, so it is countable. There is enough ice cream for all our guests to have a spoonful with their coffee. Ice cream cannot be counted, though it can be measured. Guests are individuals and can be counted. Spoonfuls can also be counted, but coffee cannot. Although cups of coffee can be counted. Here are a couple of common mistakes made using countable and uncountable nouns. Some nouns that are uncountable in English are countable in other languages. This can cause mistakes. For example, equipment is singular in English, so it is wrong to say they brought some new equipments for the school. Even if we are referring to many items, we say they brought some new equipment for the school. Another frequent mistake is to use software as if it was plural. Software is used as a singular, uncountable noun in English. So it is not correct to say all the softwares worked on the computer. We should say all the software worked on the computer. We use equipment and software even if we are talking about more than one item. 
That's all for this lesson. Bye.